What is there anything that still recaptures that experience of seeing that seeing that hint of comics in your dad's arm? Is there anything that makes you kind of re-experience that now? But like I'm like, oh my god, I might get a something, yeah. or like I'm so excited about something. No. Sorry. Nothing that I can think of. I mean, I like a surprise. I I always like a surprise. But I can't. But you know, I get myself everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of you can't really surprise yourself so much. I mean, and there's nothing that. I'm lucky enough that I do this for a living, so I make what I like. I mean, um, and I have a lot, I like to make everything, so I have a lot of hobbies and, and stuff like that. I guess traveling new places sometimes does it. Well, and, and in a way, you you get to deliver that for other people. I mean, you get to, you know that there are other people out there that are getting that moment of seeing your comic sneaking out of the little corner and getting really excited. And oh my, I, I hope so. I mean, what's really been exciting to me is um, with Scary Godmother having been made into a couple of cartoons, that's pretty awesome. Um, I have had many moments that were really exciting during that, um, but there's so much work involved, you know. So you're just like you're worried about making something the best that you possibly can. Um, but what's really great is knowing, like, if, seeing that on TV on Halloween, and knowing that some kids might be going home and see, like, eating their Halloween candy in their costume. And watching that, and that'll be their memory. It's like my favorite show, you know, because I love doing that and coming home and watching It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. And to know that something I did might be that for somebody else is amazingly exciting. And one year I had it on in the background with commercials, because it wasn't just a video. Right. <laughs> the sound was down. I had spooky music playing outside. My house was all lit up with candles. I was dressed in my scary godmother costume to give out candy. Full-size candy bars, by the way. Big candy bars, um, and knowing that after I gave the candy, they might be going home and seeing that, or I'd turn around and see it's like I made that up. That's pretty good. <laughs> that it's one well, it's wonderful, and it's not something everyone gets to do, and and do so well. I've been lucky. I I'm. I hope that I'm going to be able to do many more things like that. But I mean, I'm I'm in a really really excellent place. I'm fortunate to be able to do what I love and support myself at it. Where's some wood? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there there's wood in here somewhere. Particle board. Right, particle. Oh, um, I think one of the things, and this is going to sound really stupid and silly, is I've had really exciting moments. Uh, like going to wrestling shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen on Twitter. Right and here, get right to here. meet get to meet wrestlers. So yeah. I would say like one of like like I had like my total mark out moment a bunch of times, but I like I got to meet Mick Foley once. And um, after that, you know, I kind of backwards stalked him as far as like I just I heard he he was a writer and that he wanted to write children's books and stuff. So I ended up sending a bunch of scary godmother stuff to the next place he was doing a signing. Oh, wow. And um, in, including, you know, my phone number and said, if you ever want anyone to draw a book for you, I could think of somebody named Jill Thompson who might like to do that. Signed Jill Thompson. Right. <laughs> and uh, and he called my phone wow. and left a message. You know, he left a message at my art studio because I wasn't working out of my house at the time. I was working with another, um, with another artist. And I just like freaked out, like nobody else was there and um, everyone was, you know, so I was like running around and being an idiot and I had to compose myself, but it was, you know, like, oh my God, that's so great. <laughs> and then I was able to meet a lot of other, like became really good friends with him and um, able to meet a lot of other wrestlers through him. And, you know, um, I did book signings with him and then got to go, uh, you know, because they were doing a pay-per-view. It was just, come on, I'll, you know, let's go to, the, I have to be at the pay-per-view and, you know, you wait back here and talk to these guys. I'm going to do my bit, and then I'm going to go. So then I was like, oh, my God. Like, it, was, wow. it was very fun. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a, so did you ever expect that you would end up being involved in the wrestling world in that way? 
Um, no. <laughs> Why would I? Um, you know, it's like if you like something on, on TV and yeah. you, you never expect that, you know, you'll meet people that do that. But I mean, it's like, I don't know, people ask me, you know, like, they ask me weird questions like, why do you like comics? Why do you like wrestling? I, like, I don't know, because I like it. It's uh, but very similar. I mean, it's very similar stuff. And, you know, it's like, and meeting all these all these people, it's like wrestling lifestyle and freelance illustrator lifestyle is very similar. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, you got a major company you can work for, or uh, and then maybe a smaller company you can work for, and then if you're not working for those guys, you're working independent shows and driving around, going from show to show, sitting behind a table like this sometimes. Um, you know, doing or doing your job. You know, it's like my job is getting the next art job that I can or writing job that I can and their job is you know their next wrestling gig which has stories involved and they hurt themselves a lot more but you know it's like it's not it's not like a regular lifestyle so it's like kind of you kind of talk to people and you understand on a certain level it's like and if you write things and you know it's like you can't help but start writing stories <laughs> it's like no this needs to happen and that needs to happen no oh, then this guy needs to come in and they ought to make a character like this because it's like it's like creating comics except they're real guys and you can move them around and make them do stuff and fight each other okay. not always put them in the same positions as you can in a comic but and a lot of guys that are in wrestling like comics yeah. and that's always that that's a good thing too so. awesome